Okay, students, remember yesterday we looked at the 2D symmetry and um, I sent you these activity questions I told you to do. So right now I'm going to do the correction of the work I gave you. So let's be attentive and we get to know what we were supposed to do. Question number one, an arrow is drawn below. So we can see an arrow here, which has been drawn. Draw all the lines of symmetry on this, uh, on this shape. So basically, if you look at the shape properly, this shape can only fold properly there. There is no any other line of symmetry. So basically we have only one line of, of symmetry under, under this, uh, this arrow. Number two. A rectangle is drawn on a centimeter grid. So we can see the rectangle here has been drawn. So it means this is one, two, three, four, five, five centimeters, one, two, three, four, four centimeters. So practically we have five centimeters horizontally and we have four centimeters vertically. So five length and four width. Question A. Draw lines of symmetry on the rectangle. So as you remember the lesson of yesterday, we say a rectangle has got only two lines of symmetry. One is here and another one will be there. Remember the line has to be exactly dividing the shape into two equal parts. So if you check this side, one, two and a half, and even this side, one, two and a half. If you check this one, one, two, and this side, one, two. So we have got two lines of symmetry, one and two. But B, find the area of the rectangle. So we know in order to find the area, we have to multiply length and width. So we said the length is five units, so it's five centimeters, and then this side is four. So when you multiply five times four, we get 20. So we proceed to question number three. There we go. For each shape, write down the number of lines of symmetry and the order of rotation symmetry. So if you look at this one, this is one line passing through there in the middle, and this is the second line passing through there. So basically this one will have uh, two lines of symmetry. Now look at the order of rotation. Order of rotation will be one and then two. Also order of rotation will be two. But we can get proof for that. Let me show you a little bit of proof. There we are. You can draw this question on the tracing paper if you want to prove. There. Then after drawing it on the tracing paper, you can try to rotate it. There you go. Remember, once you have a clear center, then it can rotate. So let's rotate this. I keep rotating, rotating. Rotating. Remember, you have to pinch the center. Here there is no, because if you check properly, this top is very long. This is very short. So there's no line of symmetry there. So, I mean, there's no order of rotation there. So I keep moving. I keep moving. Tap. This is one order. Now it has properly regained its original look. So that's one order. So I keep moving. That's already, I keep moving until I finish 360 degrees. So I keep moving. Tap. That's the second order. So remember, you have to count order when you're starting at zero and you have to stop order when you're completing 360 degrees. So by the time we finish 360 degrees, I have order, order two. So this will have uh, two lines of symmetry. One line is here and another line is there. And then it has also um, order two. When you go to the second shape here, Ah, there's one line of symmetry there, which I've just drawn. So I can say one line. And also it has got one order of rotation because this does not gain original look until the end. We can also prove it. We can prove this. There you are. I'm drawing this on the tracing paper for proof to you. Okay, so there you are. If I choose this to be my center, let me start rotating. Remember, I'm starting from there. So I have to finish at that arrow up. So I begin rotating. I rotate, I rotate, I rotate. Till now, I have not regained my original look. 
I keep moving, I keep moving. Till now, I have not gained my original look because this side is out, this side is out. So I keep moving. No original look till now, I keep moving. One at the end. So this has only order one because I gained the order one when I am finishing. So this has only one order of rotation. Okay, the next one tells one, two, three, four, five. It has five order of rotation and it has five lines because one line is there, second line is there, third line is there, fourth line is there, and fifth. So it has five lines of symmetry. This one will have one line here and we'll have another line there. So this one will have two lines of symmetry and basically it will have to order of rotation. We go to the next number four. The diagram below shows a regular hexagon. A, write down the order of rotation symmetry. This will be six. Because it has, it has identical six sides and identical length, so it will gain its original look six times. On the grid, draw all the lines of symmetry. So I have got to go on the shape and I draw all the lines of symmetry. Definitely in the middle here will be one, in the middle here will be two, in the middle there will be three. So those are three lines through the middle. Then I have other three lines through the corners. One, two, three. This gives us a total of, this gives us a total of six lines. So we have got, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have got six lines of symmetry. So we have drawn the six lines of symmetry. So we keep moving. Question four, five now. Here we are. For each road sign, write down the number of lines of symmetry in the order of rotation symmetry. The number of lines of symmetry for this circle, which is a, a clear circle, is infinity. There are so many. And then also, order will be infinity. There are so many. Someone is asking, can order be zero? No, we can never have order zero. That's the lesson I taught yesterday. So make sure you are attending every lesson. We cannot have order zero. Remember to watch the video which of the lesson we had yesterday. Always we must have order one because at the end of finishing, that's when we get order one. Lines of symmetry. For this part here, we don't have any line of symmetry. So we can have zero lines of symmetry, but we don't have order zero of rotation. And this one will have order three. We can prove it here. See, I've drawn that shape there. We can move around it. We can say, this is my starting point and I pinch in the middle, then I start rotating. As I start rotating there, I will realize I keep moving. That's my other one, see there? Then I keep moving again. I keep moving, that's my other two, but I've not finished my complete movement. So I'll keep rotating again until the end point, that's my other three. So every shape, when you are completing the end, you have got order, order three. When you're completing at the end, you have order, order three. Right. So question five. Yeah, question five is a circle. And if you have got a circle and there's nothing inside, it's just an identical circle which is alone, everything is infinity on rotating. Question five, everything will be infinity on rotating. So, so we say that here I can see it's complete shaded here. So if it's complete shaded there, means we have got infinity lines. But when you look at this one now, this one is different and this one is different. When you look at this one, there's an arrow. Because of this arrow, it is limiting us from infinity. Because of this arrow, it is limiting us from infinity. So when you look at this arrow, it will give us only one line of symmetry. 
And also, it will give us only one order of rotation, that is at the end. Okay, then when you look at this number four there, also it has got one line of symmetry, which can pass, which is passing here. There. So that is one line of symmetry. And then order will be one at the end. Remember we said there is no order zero of rotation. Remember we said there is no order zero at the at rotation. Always we have one order when we are ending the question. Some people are still talking about this first shape. So I think by your virtue of eyes, if you look at what I have here, there is nothing inside. So if there's nothing, we have infinity. Okay, we move on to this one. We have one line here and we have another line there. So we have got two lines of of symmetry and when I rotate this, it will be order two. Now, when you look at this circle here, this is clear. Also this one, I will have one line here and I will have another line here. I will have two lines of symmetry and when I rotate this one, I will get order two. Okay, so let's focus the next question. I keep repeating the first shape, look properly at the what I have. You will see there is nothing inside. There's nothing inside. You can see it's all black. If it's all black, it is infinity. Number six, shed one square to make a pattern with one line of symmetry. Shed one square to make a pattern with one line. So that is easy. If you look at this, you can shed either here or you can shed there, just one. If you shed one here, means we shall have only one line of symmetry that is passing through through there. So you can choose to shade either this side or that side. So let me shade this side. So I've shaded one here. So by shading this one, so we have got now one line of symmetry. Let's go to the next one. We are now on number 6B. Let's focus on number 6B. Let's focus on number 6B. Shed one more square to make a pattern with, with rotation symmetry. Now, rotation symmetry, we say, we must have at least two order or more. Because if you have only one order, means that shape does not have rotation symmetry. If we have only one order, it means that shape does not have, because that one order is obtained while you are completing the 360. So when you're completing the 360, that's when you get order, means that one does not have order. So in this case here, if I shade this place there, see where I'm shading, if I shade this place, it means now I will have order two of rotation. When I shade this now, I will have order two of rotation. You can even prove it. There, 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 there. There, here, and there. So if I pinch in the middle, and I say this is my starting, you'll see that it will go, go, and get one order. Remember, at the one order, my shape is facing down. Then I keep moving until I finish the 360. So you find that that's the second order. So that's how we get. Remember, for a shape to have rotational symmetry, for a shape to have rotation symmetry, we must get at least two order of rotation. If we get only one order of rotation, we say that shape does not have rotation symmetry. If we have only one order, we say that shape does not have rotation symmetry. There we go. Here, an equilateral triangle is drawn, equilateral triangle. Draw lines of symmetry, that's easy. Because we said equilateral has three lines of symmetry. So if I'm to draw them, I'll draw them like that. So there are three lines of symmetry. But B, four small squares are shaded in the diagram below. So we can see them here in the middle. One, two, three, four. Now the question is, shade in four more small squares to make a pattern with rotation symmetry order four. 
they want us to shed four more so that we have order order four. So this one I have pre-done it. So we can shed, you can see the tracing paper. The four in the middle, I've shaded for you two more outside in the corner. So that's one way we can shade them. And then when we shade it like that, if I start rotating, that's order one, that's order two, that's order three, and finally order four. If you don't want this way, then you can shade that way. See, we have two ways. You can shade that way or you can shade this way. So here we go. Also this one I can rotate and I say this is my beginning point. So I keep moving. Order one, order two, order three, and order four. I go back where I was. So here I've drawn for you two samples of how you could add the other four shapes. Here I have done two samples of how you could add the other four shapes. So this is how you can add the small other squares to end up with, to end up with a four order rotation. Question eight, a square is drawn inside of a regular octagon. A square is drawn inside of a regular octagon. Draw all lines of symmetry. Very good. Now, in order to draw lines of symmetry, now we have got octagon and we have got a square. Remember, we have to consider the square because the square has the least number. Octagon has eight, square has four. So, in order for them to match together, then I have to consider the square inside. One, two, three and four so the combination of the two will have only four lines of symmetry let's move to number nine here are some shapes a b c d in the table write down the rotation symmetry for each shape in the table write down So, A, A, we see you have a hat. A, we see we have a hat. So, if I want to rotate the hat, believe me, it will not have any joint until the end. I'm rotating. I'm rotating. Look at the arrow. Look at the arrow. It's not joining. Look at the arrow. I'm rotating the hat. It's not joining. It did not join. So, the hat will never join until the final part one so heart does not have rotation symmetry but it has order one when you come to b b is a square you shall not waste time on a square a square has order order four when you go to the star also the star will have one two three four five so the star will have five. And six, we have this isosceles triangle. And when I rotate isosceles triangle, it will also join only at the end. Hence, it has one line. Question number 10. The diagram, the diagram shows the net of a solid shape. Name the solid shape, of course, it is a square. Sorry, it's a, a cube. Because we have got six squares which form a cube. We have got six squares which form a cube. Then, part B, on the net, the net has one line. Draw the line of symmetry. It will be passing here because if I pass here in the middle, then this part will join this one, this one will join this one, and this one will come to join this way, and this other one will come to join this one. So that's our line of symmetry. But see, add some more squares to the diagram below so it has rotation symmetry of order four. 
add some squares. So we have got this shape here below. We need to add some squares so that we have got rotation of order four. So when you look at this shape, this side we have two, this is the center, this side we have one, this side we have one, this side is one. So in order to get order four, it will be as easy as, see that one? Make the side which had one, one to have two, two. Now this will have order four. If you try and pinch in the middle and you rotate through the north, you'll realize we are joining four times. One time, two time, three time, four times. So if you add this one, this one, and this one, then we shall get order four of rotation. Next, we have got number 11. Complete the table below to show the symmetry properties of who? quadratos. We have, there, we have been given the rectangle. Exactly one line of symmetry. No, a rectangle has got two lines of symmetry. Rotation order of, rotation symmetry of order two, yes. Square, exactly the one, no. Kite, exactly one line, yes. Rhombus, exactly, you know, let me even show you some. A kite has one line because it can, it can cut only here. A rhombus has got two lines. One passes there, another one passes here. So, no. Let's go to rotation. Rotation symmetry of order two, no, because the square has order four. Rotation symmetry of order two, no, because the kite has only one order. And rhombus, yes, rhombus has got two order of rotation, no? rotation symmetry. Here, shape the fewest possible squares to make the pattern with two lines of symmetry. Now, in order for this to be two lines of symmetry, it will have to be shaded and become like this. So I have, if you look down and up, I have to shade this corner here to go away. I have to shade this one here to go away. And I have to shade this one to go away. So I have to shade three squares to get this kind of look. Because this one will have two lines of symmetry. One line is here, another line is there. So I will shade this one there. I will shade this one here. And I will shade that one. And I will shade this one. Then after shading those four, the order will be clear. And it will be order two. Next, shade three more. Shade three more triangles to make the pattern with rotation symmetry order three. Now we need to make this with order three. Apparently, it has been shaded one, two, three. I need to shade three more. So look, if they are shaded three like that, if I keep rotating this, look at these two here. Look at these two. Those two have to come here. So basically, the three more which I need to shade will be these two here. Then I have to shade one more. And that one more, I will shade it there. So if you look at this now, it will have order three. One here, two here, three there. Next, shed six. Shed six. Okay. There are two ways you can choose. Number one, you can shed all the six which are in the center here. You can shed all these six in the center there. After shedding all these six, then it will still have order six. So that's the easiest way we can do it. But if you don't want to shed these six, then you can shed these six here. One there, 
two here, three there, four here, five and six. So those are the six you can shed and you still have order six of rotation. Okay, now we have completed all the questions which we had. Now let's 